Hi, my name is Songbird, and welcome to the Sawbones Solo Challenge. Aftermath. The, the goal of which is to heal all the city guards. I'm actually using a hex-based uh, uh, monster icon thing um, instead of the, the, the normal stands. But there are 11 guards, 10 normal ones, and one elite one, a lieutenant, that we need to heal back up to full. They will be taking one damage a turn until they die, and if any of them die, I lose. Uh, starting with the introduction. A great thunderous sound wakes you from your sleep. A calamitous noise of men shouting and earth cracking. As you leap from your bed, pull on some clothes, and grab your equipment, the chaos outside only heightens. There are screams and, and a powerful rumble of stone and fire that shakes the ground, nearly knocking you off your feet. You race towards disaster and as, you, as fast as you can, but by the time you arrive, the immediate danger has already passed. Whatever attack had been driven off, but they left in their wake a scene of devastating destruction. Buildings lie in ruins, great sections of the wall have been toppled over, leaving some of the rubble scattered through the area. More pressing, however, is the number of dying soldiers screaming and moaning their death throes. You immediately set to work on saving as many of them as you can. So, the special rules, all the guards are allies to me, they do not act, and they do not have initiative. All revealed city guards, and that's a key word, revealed city guards, suffer one damage at the end of the turn and are only considered saved and will stop suffering damage when fully healed. Uh, so they got eight health, so once all the guards are back up to eight health, they stop taking damage. Um, you, you may give city guards medical packs, in which case they would immediately heal for the value of the card. So any of the medium, medi medium medical packs are four heal, and the large one is eight. Effectively an eight. Uh, when revealed, city guards A should have two health, B should have four health, and C should have seven, and all obstacles have four, so I need to attack a few of the obstacles and get them out of my way. Uh, so city guards that have two health is this one and that one. The one that has four is here and here, and the ones that have seven are here, 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 and then the elite guard has four. So... Uh, the lowest one, lowest HP ones are nearest the door, which means they need your attention more, more quickly. Um, and then once we open up this door, then, uh, some more stuff happens, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but the main thing is that the, the elite guard, once we open up this last room, the elite guard, we have to heal him up to 27 from four within 10 rounds. Uh, starting with the items. We got a minor healing potion, which we're going to be using towards the end if we need to. It's really just a backup plan to ensure that we can uh, survive a short rest. Um, we got a major stamina and a minor stamina, which we're using at two specific points. We got eagle eye goggles, which we're using to, um, in, to aid our attempts to break down the obstacles to make sure that we don't miss that. There, that's, th there are only two random elements or three random elements to this entire scenario. And right now, the, the way I have it planned is this boulder attack, this boulder attack, and then a short rest right here. Those three are the only random elements of the game. I think I've now... I, I, I tried this once and I, I screwed up in here because I forgot to heal one of the guards or I, I somehow missed healing one of the guards. And then I was stuck on this where... Um, there's the short rest here, which means there's a 25% chance you fail. But I think with the healing potion, I've now figured out a way to mitigate that so that it's 100% success now. So the only random element now is the two attacks. Um, starting, or we're going to look at the perks. We have uh, a fresh level 5 here. I've retired three characters, so that means I get three extra perks for that. Seven total. Um, I added a refresh one. Not that it's really required, it's just more for a... Um, trying to offset the the um the null and the negatives it's also good for the main campaign to refresh your items uh we got the base five of just removing all the the bad stuff uh the, you you might argue that you want to keep the zeros in to maintain consistency but again i'm assuming that this was made for like a main campaign where you would have taken out the zeros and then we added a plus one immobilize just for a little bit of extra damage that's not a rolling modifier uh, okay uh as far as items go if you have a major healing potion that would also help uh, if you're like a level 7 or higher, or if you have that instead of this, it's just as good. Also, if you've done the Tinkerer solo and you have access to the Focusing Array, that might also be well and good um, in your strategies here to use that. Um, 
Oh, then we also got Wing and Choose because we're going to hop over a couple obstacles at some point. So, onto the cards, uh, starting with the non level specific ones. There are a lot of his abilities that are um, dealing with allies like people you're playing with, and they're completely useless for this. So, oh, and then there's also no enemies, so anything that deals with disarming like this one is completely useless. So, shield self and disarm, there are no enemies, so you don't need to shield and or disarm, so this one's completely useless. Uh, you and adjacent allies may recover up to a number of discard cards equal to the number of allies adjacent to you. You could technically do that because you have allies, but you got other stuff to do that you need to do, so that's not really required. Um, move to bottom, don't need. Uh, this attack, poison. Nice AoE, but there aren't three obstacles next to each other, and it's only one attack. You have no, uh, in the bottom, you have no person to put that in their play area. Uh, this... You might say, well, why don't you take an extra heal? We've got two heals right now. Uh, this one, these two bottoms are more useful than, or I'm sorry. I guess you could, because we're not actually using this move three. Yeah, so you could use that instead of these two. There's no reason not to. Whatever you prefer, we just need um, at least one of these threes and then a four. I should also mention that I have enhanced this card. Um, this is uh, something I... Sawbones was one of my previous characters, and I enhanced it with a plus one heal on top, so we have two four heals. And with the uh, med pack, this is another four top heal, so we got three four top heals essentially. I also empowered this wound attack, so this is a four attack wound. You need two four attacks, it really doesn't matter which ones. Um, so we'll get to the level ones specifically later, but so we just took this one. Uh, this is the only required four attack because we need the bottom. Uh, we need the bottom specifically for the heal yourself and all allies. Um, if you don't want to take this, then you need to be level 6 and take this. It's essentially the same thing. Uh, it does 4 to all allies. Uh, you, assuming you're using the top. And then it's just another uh, heal 4 after that. In fact, you probably want to want to swap that with this, but anyway... Uh, this one, we're not going to be attacking bottom. We don't have time for that. And the top, again, we don't have anywhere to put this on your ally. And there aren't any native conditions. So, there you go. Uh, triage, we're going to be using... Unfortunately, we're only going to be using three of the four ticks. But it's essentially a six heal top at that point. Um, but mainly, it's it's also for the, the main... Uh, the move five on the bottom. That's, that's going to be really important. We need uh, a lot of move cards because we're moving really quick. Uh, again, top, heal four with a uh, move bottom. This is just an attack four, but we need the bottom. Uh, this one is essentially a burn heal eight top. We'll be using it at the very end. Heal four, heal four. Um, unfortunately, the way this is currently played out, this empowerment or this enhancement is required. I wasn't able to think of a way around it unless... You have this. If you're level six, you can get around it by using this instead of this for your move, for a heal four, because then this heal four is a heal four, whereas this one I had to enhance. So you need either need to be level six to use this strategy and have this card, or a level five with this plus one heal enhancement. It's 50 gold. Um, given that the item that you're going to be unlocking is 50 gold. Essentially, you, you buy the enhancement instead of the item, is, is what it's going to amount to, so uh, invest in that. On to the level cards, we are going to... We, I, the ones I've... This is based off of what I played, uh, the very short that, amount that I played. I actually retired my Sawbones after three scenarios. It was... Um, I had the elemental one, and we killed three of the elementals in one, and then we hunted down the rest to retire quickly, because I was not really enjoying this class, but... Um, anyways... For level two, we want the heal bottom. This is, you know, heal four bottom, essentially. So it's really, really good. Uh, the top is just another attack four. We got plenty of attack fours. Uh, the bottom six move is kind of good, but you immobilize yourself. So this is just not that good of a card, I think. Um, we're not using the top of this. We're using it for the bottom. Uh, the level three we're using for a move four more than anything. But the burn attack top is good in, in play. The heal self is okay if you're planning to use it with um, the bottom of this to affect all allies, but that's two cards to do one heal when 
towards the end we need to use both top and bottom to heal and then this again we don't have anywhere to place that so it's completely useless uh on to number four we're doing this for the move heal very very important this uh, you know it's a per it, this is a nice big top heal as well but we need a good balance of top and bottom heals and this will give it to us unfortunately the other one is it's only a level it's only two heal on the bottom and uh, you know it's a big heal on top it's two on the bottom it might work in the th in the in the strategy but i i doubt it <laughs> you can certainly try um but anyway uh, and then level five is really your choice uh, just for sake of argument, I'm taking the top one. This is the one I had taken when I played it during the main campaign. This one, you could potentially use the heal bottom very, very effectively towards the end. The end is just a, a what we call a burn, but we're not burning them down. We're trying to uh, rush it or zerg it, whatever you want to do. Zerg heal the, the last guy up to full health, and this will certainly allow you to do that. Otherwise, it, you just use this as an attack for a top. So either of these will work, whatever you have in your main campaign, um, assuming that you took these other three for your main campaign. So similar to the Night Shroud, if you've seen that solo scenario, I've laid out every single turn. Uh, there aren't as many as the Night Shroud, I think. And um, yeah, yeah, there, there, there isn't as many because I only do three rests. So Yeah, um, I think we will get started then. Uh, I should probably save state because I made one quick swap <laughs> right before starting. Okay. And we'll hope that that swap that I made... Come on, pick up the whole thing, please. The hope that the swap that I made uh, was propagated correctly throughout this, this whole plan here. Okay, so starting with turn one... Again, the only two random elements are this first attack and this attack about halfway through. If either of them fail, basically I'm just going to say that they succeeded because you could play the entire thing up until that point with no RNG at all. And it would just save time just to say that you succeeded. So even though those are the two elements, you would just fail, reset, do it all over again and waste a half an hour. So we're not going to do that. Uh, so starting with turn one, we're doing the large med pack burn card really just for a move. Uh, wherever that is. Ledge med pack burn card and then the attack four of your choosing the level five. Um, and then we're popping, we're gonna move here and then we're gonna pop advantage and plus one or plus two, all right? So we do five damage to the boulder which destroys it. And no experience. All right, turn two, we are moving and healing and healing. So move and heal and med pack top. So, oh, oh sorry, at the end of the round, this guard ticks down to one. So we're gonna move two, do not open up this door. Move two to heal three, which means he's up to four. And then the med pack top is another heal four, which means he's up to eight. So that guard is now healed to full. He will no longer take any damage. I get an experience, you know what I forgot to do again? Bottle of Battle Goals. Well, that's going to happen, because I'm not taking any damage, so. Okay, uh, so turn two is that. No guards in here take damage because they aren't technically revealed yet. So turn three, we're going to move and heal with the four. So we're using the attack burn move and heal four. Uh, so we're going to go through here, reveal the room. All these guards will now start taking damage. And then we're gonna heal four. He's up to six. Okay, um, and at the end of my turn, I'm popping the stamina potion, the miner for do no harm and booster shot. So the move heal and heal. Wherever that is, move heal and the heal four. Okay, uh, so this turn, you. Let's see, so we're gonna move, heal, and then heal. Move, heal, and heal. Uh, so they tick down for five, three, six, six, six. Okay, uh, I'm going to heal. 
this guy for three. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, and heal this guy for three. Unfortunately, that did not actually top him off, but that's okay. Um, I think I got an experience for that heal. Uh, we popped the boots to jump over that obstacle. All right, so now they're gonna tick down five, five, five. And then we're going to move and heal. So basically we're healing and then we're gonna move. Oh wait, uh, this one. We're not actually using the med pack, we're just using it as heal. So top heal of this will top him off. And then we're base two moving here. And then we're gonna pop the other stamina potion for the heal four, the move and heal, and the uh, the heal three. Whoops. Uh, tell me I didn't deal to everybody. No, okay. Uh, so the heal, the move and heal, and the heal. Um, why aren't you stacking? Sometimes this simulator does not like to work. Okay, here we go. Just double checking, making sure. Heal three, the move and heal, and the heal four. Heal three, the move and heal, heal four. Good. Okay, uh, so they'll tick down. They're at four. Which means that if I heal all of them at once, they'll all be done, which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to take the heal four. We're going to heal all adjacent allies. And uh, with the heal all adjacent allies and healing four myself, all of them are topped off. Okay, so for this turn, we're going to move two, move and heal. Oh, and then with no, all the guards are topped off. Uh, we're going to move two, do not open up the door. And yeah, we're basically just getting it out. Now we're going to long rest here. And we're going to get rid of the attack four. We're getting rid of that attack four. So that, that, that level five card that was so important, yeah, you can get rid of that now. It's not a big deal. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now we are... What are we doing here? Oh, sorry. We're here. Uh, I, I thought we we're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Why are we popping that as a top? We're going to be moving through the door and healing that guy. So we got um, the move. We got the heal. We need the... The burn as the move, and then the heal four. So we're gonna move, uh, which means the next section happens. You get closer to the ruined wall and see nothing but more devastation. The rubble has buried many men here, including a gravely wounded lieutenant moaning through help through blood-filled lungs. You grimly resolve to save them all. So special rules: the elite city guard has the, the elite city guard is the lieutenant. And has H times 3. So his normal hit point value of 9 times 3. He has 27 total hit points. He starts at 4. He suffers damage normally. He heals like he, like all the other guards do. And now we start the round tracker. I have 10 rounds to heal the lieutenant. The rest of them basically doesn't matter. So long as the lieutenant is healed up after 10 rounds. Okay. Uh, so that was 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to heal 4. So that guard is now topped off. Which means every ticks down. And this guy goes down to three. Alright. Now we're on this one. We need to basically use. Th this is just a generic top. We don't care what it is, really. But that's the, the card that we aren't using. So uh, now we're going to use the move, move in three. Move and heal three. One, two, th oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Move four, heal three, which is more than enough to heal him back up to full. Uh, I guess you could technically attack this. One, two, three, four, five, and then you don't need to jump. Hey! Then I don't need to long rest. Hey! You know, that might actually be not a bad thing, but I... Um, I planned around that, so we're, we're going to go with what I had. 
Uh, next up is this for the move, and then we got the med pack. So we're moving five, so one, two, oh, sorry, we're gonna tick them down. Move five, one, two, three, four, and give this big dude a med pack for four health. So we get an experience for that. The big dude ticks down to five, four, four. That was one, two, three, that was turn three, so this is turn four. Okay, so we just healed the big dude, and now we're going to help the other dudes. We got to move to, I believe that's what I used for move to. Where am I, here? Yeah, I use that as move to. And this is unfortunately where that um, empowerment is required. This guy is at four health, you need four in order to heal him back up to full. So if you're level six or you have that enhancement, that is where that comes into play. Uh, so we're healing that guy up for an experience. We had just popped those. Uh, so that was round four. You take a tick, you take a tick. This is round five. And we are long resting. Yes, in the middle of this time, time crunch, we're, we're long resting. And it's specifically to get the boots back. And to be able to choose what card we need. So everybody ticks down again. And we are going to get rid of the move four attack. Um, that's not it. It's that one. Don't No longer need that many move fours. So here comes the second element of RNG. And that is to attack. And we need to move and, move and heal then. So um, starting with the attack four. And then a move, move and heal. That's what I'm doing. Uh, so attack four to that with again, at, oops, advantage. So we got a minus two or a miss. And that, my friends, is the random element. So again, up until this point, the only randomness was the draws. So we're just going to say we destroyed it because... I can easily play this whole thing again and just repeat what I just did. With the exception of maybe that one failing. But anyways, that's that's the only random element here. Uh, so that thing gets destroyed and then we move one, two, three, four. Heal this guy for three. Three, he ticks down, he ticks down. Uh, that was this one. Now we're going to heal and then move so we're going to heal and then move with the med pack one okay and this is where the jumping boots comes into play we really need it so we're healing and moving one two three four and the reason why I long rested there is because it would take you two turns to get around so you might as well long rest and and save the cards Uh, which means that the guard now ticks down. Hey, the guard almost died. Um, okay, guard's down to one health, and now we are trying to just heal the guard up as quick as possible. So we're doing triage for the top, which means every turn we can do a heal two action. So this turn we're going to heal the guard for two, and then we're going to bottom this for f another four. So he is up to seven. Because that's six. Uh, we get experience for that one. And then he loses one at the end of the round, so he's down to six. Next turn, we got... Uh, this, actually, at, at the end of this round, we need the long rest. And this is where... Um, and this is where... The random element was, or at least I thought it was, but it's it's not actually a problem, um, and I'll, I'll explain why as soon as I draw. So I lost I lost the bottom heal ability, which would be required, but we have this ability, and I made a uh, whoops this ability. I made a swap earlier where I was discard I think I was discarding this like right here in the long rest, 
or early, actually earlier on because I figured I didn't need it anymore. But the ability to have this means I can use a, a healing potion here. So for the next two turns, it is the move heal and a heal four. So it is uh, three plus four is seven. He's up to uh, 13, so he's down to 12. And then my triage also ticks, so he's up to 14. And that, that is already with the, the end round thing included in that, by the way. Okay, and that was that would be round 9, so this is round 10. This is the last round. We are using the large med pack and the all heal actions. And the reason why I made the swap is that now you can use the potion. That is what the potion is for. So we're going to use all heal rounds to affect you and adjacent allies. So we're popping the heal potion for three. So he's up to 17. Uh-oh. Plus eight is not enough. Did I miscount? Oh, no, no, no. Nope, nope. I'm fine. Uh, eight is 25. Plus the triage ticks for two. 27. There we go. I was going to say, man, did I really just miscount by like two? Nope. Triage. Triage, bitches. Uh, which means you get discarded. I get two experience for that. And the triage did not get to tick the last time, so I only get one experience for the triage. All right, so the guard is up to full, and that was round 10, which is what we needed to do it by. Uh, so just a little bit of brief explanation on that. So that little short rest there that I um, was reliant on until I figured out that I could use that bottom. So going, oops, uh, so going into that, you have in the hand a heal and uh, the med pack. These are from the previous long rest already. You just haven't used them yet. And you're long, you're short resting for one of the, or for two of the f uh, five other cards. So uh, you need three good bottoms of some sort of heal. And that's where this was one of them. The uh, all heal allies was another one. And the move and heal, which is what I just used. Where'd it go? Well, that, that is the move and heal. Where's the um, med pack bottom? Uh, that one? Oh, for some reason I... For some reason I put in the exhaust pile. Anyway. So you need two of these three. And before I realized this whole uh, health potion thing, it was you need both of these... And, you know, you've got, um, you've got, well, th this was essentially, um, this one attack over here. So you've got five cards and you need these two, which means you can, if you pick one, you can pay a life to keep it. But then there's a 25% chance that you pick this one and then you're screwed. So again, that would have been a random element that you couldn't have eliminated until I realized that you can... Um, do that as a bottom um, later on in the fight not just right there so uh, conclusion many died tonight but you take solace in having saved all that you could the lieutenant is especially grateful and commissions a special coat to be made for you you head back to your room and like always the endless screams of dying men in your memories eventually gives way to peaceful sleep all right so we've unlocked The Doctor's Coat. Anytime an ally performs a medical pack or large medical pack action, they add plus one to the heal, which means that these are five heals and the large ones are nine heals. Just a little bit of extra healing going on. Although it seems like when I play with my friends, they just use it to move. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, there are several other solo challenges on my uh, YouTube channel. I believe... We this one was number fourteen. Uh, the other three we have not unlocked Cthulhu, and I need to do the Elementalist and the Summoner class yet. Uh, but anyways, uh, there's a playlist there, solo challenges. You can find it on my YouTube at youtube.com/songbirdother. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.